From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Well, welcome back. When we think of nonprofit organizations, we don't always think of libraries, but they have so much to offer our communities. Joining me now is Carol from the Bullard Community Library. Thanks for being with us Thank this you for morning. Me. Of course. Well, tell us a little bit about the uh, community library there in Bullard. Um, the Bullard Library has been around since the 80s. Um, we currently have about 1,600 patrons and a circulation of about 27,000 books, wow, yeah. believe it or not, <laughs> in our little library. Well, no, yeah, that, that's fantastic. So um, tell me, why do you think, you know, libraries, believe it or not, are starting to become less mm. prominent in mm -hmm. our communities, mm -hmm. but y'all are still going strong. Why we is are. it so important to be able to have these in our communities? Well, for instance, um, we serve a very diverse community and we always have people coming in. You know, we take it for granted that we have internet, you know, you have internet, um, all these services. Well, not everybody has those. So we provide internet and Wi-Fi. I have a gentleman that came in yesterday who had had a stroke and I actually filled out his taxes for him because there's a need for that. So community libraries, serve a need and we have to always remember that it's not just about checking out books it's about the community and 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 Bullard Library is important it's a, a hub of the community and to be able to offer that hub it still does take money to be it able to run this. it does and we run on donations um, we have two major fundraisers and so this East Texas Giving Day is going to be our third fundraiser so being our first year doing this, mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see how it works. Well, it's pretty exciting. So this is your first year taking it part is. in Giving Day. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, what is this money going to be going back into for Project Wise? Well, we need new books. Um, a majority of our books are donated. Mm -hmm. So only about 5% of our circulation is our new books. So I want to get some new books in the library. And um, we also are going to um, have our new Ultimate Summer Reading Program. And this is not just a, a reading program. This is a program that keeps the kids' brains and bodies moving during the summer. So we're really looking forward to it. It's great. It's a great program. Yeah, well, tell me, how does it feel to be a part of something as big as East Texas Giving Day? We're really excited about it. Um, I, I know this is our first year and it's trial and error because I've never done anything like this before. Mm -hmm. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how it works and getting it out to the community, doing things like this. And so, um, I don't know, it's just it's just a trial and error this year and hopefully it'll will do really well and we can always be here next year and, and in the future. Well, we're talking about getting new books is what the yes. money's going to and also the summer reading program, yes. getting that ramped up. What is the goal that y'all are looking to hit this year as a part of giving? We back? have a goal of $1,200. Mm -hmm. We have a current match of $600 that came from our generous board. Um, and uh, that that's, that's our goal. I think it would be great to hit that. I only have, you know, about $2,000 a year that I can spend on books. Mm -hmm. So this is this $1,200 would be it would go a long way as well as to help the with the summer reading program. Well, I think it's a pretty reasonable ask. Yes. We're talking $1,200 right. and right. so I think East Texans can really come out and get behind the support because libraries are still, you know, everything that you mentioned such an important pillar of our community. They really are. They really are. So uh, if anybody's interested in learning a little bit more about the library and the programs that y'all offer, where can they go for some more information? They can go to our website, which is BullardLibrary.org. Um, we're also on Facebook. Um, and we're down there in, on Main Street in Bullard. Come by and see us. I've got the most wonderful volunteers. And um, if you ever want to volunteer, we're looking for volunteers. So that's come on, come on by the library. All right, perfect. Well, don't forget East Texas Giving Day, April 25th. If you're busy that day, we're in early giving yes, right we now. Are. So uh -huh. there's no excuse, and you'll take donations year round, right? Absolutely. And of course, Absolutely. if you hit 1,200, you'll take more, more than that. More than that, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. All right, well, thanks for being with us this appreciate morning. We appreciate it. Thanks it. for having me. Of course. All right, stick